Hey, hey, happy day. The majority of people in North America believe that gender is determined at birth. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Some polls say 75%, others say 98%, but it's between 75 and that number. So call it 80, maybe 85%. So that means there's 10 or 15% of people who are mental, right? Well, get over that, don't you know? But they probably won't. But hey, what is going on? They say that a huge majority of people say it's already determined at birth. And yet probably 80% of the press, maybe 90, is telling everybody that's okay. They should be able to have a swap a rule if they want to. That's just craziness. It kind of shows you that the press is running the nation, right? Right? Oh, left, left. I should have said just sharing with you. Hey, now in New York City, we have this progressive Catholic church. They are liberals and steroids, right? Firstly, let's analyze what a church is. A church basically is a franchise. It's like McDonald's, right? If you go into a McDonald's store, you own one, and you start to put sauerkraut in the Big Mac, you lose your franchise, and you all can't be there anymore running the McDonald's store. They take your signs down. Churches are the same. Their job is, is to preach and to help people and to convert people to their way of life, their Christianity thing, right? I get it. Everybody should get it. But many of these churches, they're kind of swaying on different paths, kind of like banks. You know, banks now are going broke because they're giving money away to homosexual causes and different things. It's not their business. It's about your shareholders, your stakeholders, and your, of course, in the bank's case, your depositors. Now, churches, this one, there is one rather in New York City, and they're saying God is a transgender. You got that? That takes a while to process. They're actually stating that God is a transgender. They should get their franchise yanked instantly because they're trying to convert people to a certain way of life. They have exhibits now, three pictures, and they say God is a trans, a queer spiritual journey has been displayed on the, at the altar, right by the altar, uh, within a church, right? And, and it's all about this queer spiritual journey as sacrifice, identity, and communion. And here's an 80-year-old woman raging liberal and she's attended the church forever this is kind of i don't know regular maybe among liberals because they just don't have open minds they're closed they're even locked anyway this woman her name is sherry gosh good gosh to this she's 80 years old this said and she says i love the church because it's liberal i don't understand what they're doing i don't understand the pictures i don't understand the wordage but this is great because they're liberal uh, the liberal church goes on to declare its mission which is is basically to screw up anything that the franchisor wants to have. <laughs> hey, you get all of that. Keep it with stupidity. We got in Colorado, you got the uh, uh, Colorado Education Association. They recently passed a resolution that declares that capitalism exploits children, public schools, land, labor and resources. And of course, of course, it's a racist thing. Capitalism, they're all racist and they don't believe in climate change and education inequality and income inequality. What they're really saying is, is that the right doesn't agree with the left because the left, right is right, left is wrong. Simple stuff, but they get the press. We don't get as much press and we got to start pushing for that. We got to talk more, yell, yell, and kind of get everybody's attention. Don't you know? And in Denver, still keeping in Colorado, a city council representative there, a woman, she says this, we need more taxes proposing. She's proposing all kinds of taxes for white led businesses. You take that money and you redistribute that wealth to minorities because of the harm of capitalism. Candy C. Dabaka, blah, blah, blah. I, you know what? She needs to move to a socialist country where they do that distribution, redistribution of money and other items as well, and see how she likes it. And if she really likes it, come back and, you know, we'll listen to you. We won't do what you say because you're dumb, but we'll listen at least. But the capitalist system, it's a great system. It's, it's an achievement, and it doesn't provide wealth. Not supposed to provide wealth to a political elites or um, you know people like her, that person in Denver. The socialist system works for those only who hold themselves above the people. People don't do really well in the social system. Capitalist system is the best system. It's never really been allowed to be itself because government always interferes. That the true free market system it works and it would work. It would work. Great, but, but people have to get their fingers out of the pie. And, and all these liberals, I mean, you see a lot of 
countries that call themselves capitalists, a lot of areas, and it isn't as lim limousine capitalism in a way. Anyway, you kind of know what I mean. Canada, we have more crazy stuff going on there. The government says we need reconciliation with Indians. Reconciliation. I don't even know what that means. The term appears to have come to describe uh, colonization and its effects on Indian people. Reconciliation is to reflect on the past. That's really what it is. It's a term that doesn't, it really means that people don't get over it. Get over it. It's been a couple of hundred years. Get past that now and kind of carry on with your life. If you had a bad thing happen in your personal life a couple of years ago and you're still living it every day, guess what? You can't go ahead. Windshield, windshield, look out that big windshield. Don't keep looking in the rearview mirror. You will crash. You will crash when you're driving forward. Worse yet, I guess you're not driving forward. The Liberal government now has crafted and created the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. They've already spent several hundred million dollars I guess to confirm the past, nobody kind of knows what they're doing. They're, they're giving billions to Indians for stress and education and so many other things. Why are they so different from other Canadians? Again, it was a couple hundred years ago. The SoCal Commission is just another left-wing mental endeavor. Uh, that's all it is. And when the government says it's here to help, it's just a uh, bloody disaster. Ah, it's a terrible disaster. Hey, y'all go have a happy day and be right. See ya.